Hello everyone, this is Average Adam, and we're doing another deck spotlight today, another deck that I've made. <clears throat> this is my druid deck that I made with all the new goblins versus gnomes cards. Ooh, this is a very interesting start. I think I'm going to take one of these, but not the other one. Uh, this is my druid mill deck, and those of you guys know how much I love my rogue mill deck, but this is my druid mill deck. Rogues, forget about rogues. Rogue, rogues are done. There, there, there is no rogue mill deck anymore. This is the Druid Mill deck. It is much better, and it is so much fun to play. I love this deck so much. Uh, it relies on cards that pretty much put cards in your opponent's hand, and being able to take advantage of the fact they have a lot of cards in their hand, such as the Clockwork Giants, which are absolutely amazing in this kind of deck now. Uh, also using the uh, Goblin Sappers, because when they have a lot of cards in their hand, they get more powerful, so why not have those, right? Naturalizes are amazing. Give two cards to your opponent, which makes your uh, Clockwork Giants cost a lot less. Ooh, what do we got? We got one of those. Those are always fun to deal with. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with Dancing Swords, and I'm kind of hoping he swings at it and kills it. He's probably going to heal first before he does it, but I'm okay with him having the extra card. I really am. That just can make my Clockwork Giants much cheaper. And it pretty much allows me to predict his turn and about what exactly he's going to do. And if I want now, I can just slam my face into that and kill it, which I'm going to do now. So let's go ahead and just swing in here. Take... You know, two damage, but yeah, big whoop. Just two damage. Uh, we're gonna leave that there for a minute there, because I don't want to. I want to put that down when he's got something on the field. Then I can blow up and do two damage to everything. Okay, that is a scary card. I might use a naturalize on that. In fact, I think I'm going to use a naturalize on that. So watch this. Uh, we're gonna naturalize. So he's got a bunch of extra cards in his hand. And now that I did that, because I did that, we can go ahead and throw out a three cost. Clockwork Giant. Pretty much ensuring that he has to burn a uh, uh, Shadow or Death on it. So here comes the Shadow or Death, right? It's pretty much eminent. I play this, you're going to play Shadow or Death. You kind of have to. There's there's no way around it. There you go. One's down. I'm okay with this. This is not a bad thing for us. This is not bad at all. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and throw down the Sheep. Great time to Sheep. Love it. And just because, I think we're going to throw it on this too. No, he can actually find a way to blow that up. Let's, we're not going to do that. But we're going to... Oh, actually, a better option would have been play this first. Mm, I should have done that the other way around. That's fine, though. We're going to go and just do the two damage. This is on the field, so if he wants to hit it, he can. It's not that big of a deal. But I should have just played that and blown it up. Would have been easier. That's okay. We're fine. Let me change your Oh, he's going to jack my creature. That is not cool. Why would he do that? That is such a mean thing to do. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do now is I might burn my other Naturalize. Or we can hope to draw something better. Let's go ahead and do this first, because then I'll have four mana. I can play any of those uh, other cards. Let's see what we can get out of this. Maybe we'll get a better option here. We did not, though. We got the same option. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Hmm. I think I'm just going to burn the Naturalize. He's going to burn at least one card off that. Which is fine by me. No. Goodbye, Ragnaros. I'm okay with this. And now we're going to go ahead and play this, allowing me to have a nice big creature, and attack that. He's got this thing out which he can hit. Oh, there goes the North Shire. As you can see, we're starting to burn his cards away, and he's not, I'm sure he's uh, not very happy about that, but my whole goal is to keep his field cleared. He can kill this thing and do two damage to all my guys, which is perfectly okay with me. Because I have plenty of guys to come up with that. Hmm. That was a weird Shadow Word ping. See, now the Goblin Sapper is pretty cool because it has plus four attack when an opponent has six or more cards in hand. I love that card. All right, what do you got, man? What do you got? Choices, choices, huh? Choices, choices. I've given him a lot of cards, so he's got a lot to work with. But, you know, he's got to think about some stuff. Let's see here. Oh, what's he playing? Come on. What are you doing, man? Let's see. You gonna play something? Hmm. Hey, that card? Yeah, that card. There you go. Holy no. Thing. See, that works. It blows up everything on the field. That was actually a really good thing. It blows up the sheep, too. I See, that's... I shouldn't have played the sheep. That was kind of a bad play. But, check out what I got now. Two yetis. And we all know that four attack minions are very difficult for the, uh... <laughs> for the priest to deal with. So he's looking at these like, oh fuck, I can't touch these. 
Wow, he played something to give me health. He's pretty much trying to force... He's trying to give things that are not going to help him at all. Things that uh, will allow me... What the heck is he doing? Hold on. He wants things to hit that aren't my face. Essentially, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I think I might Trogzor this time. First off, I'm going to kill this and take the health from it. Because that's just amazing. Alright, next off, I think we're going to kill this guy. And Trogzor's got six health, so he can very easily slam things into Trogzor and kill it. So I think we're just going to go ahead and take some draw. And we get a... Ooh, I like that. More cards! I am okay with this. There's some removal. And we'll go ahead and throw down the Trog. Why not? Why not throw down the Trog? We have a nice menacing field of enemies. He may burn his other Holy Nova now. In fact, this would actually be a very good time to do that. He would kill two of my guys for sure and be able to swing to kill two more. I do have a swipe in my hand, which is pretty nice. Let's see what he's got. I wonder. Yeah, this deck also runs Trogs. Trogs are actually very annoying to deal with. Holy Nova, really? Yeah, that's gonna suck. There goes my field, right? Well, not Holy Nova, but uh, Circle of Healing. Is someone injured? No. He does not have Circle of Healing. Interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, Trogs are annoying because you, they don't want to play spells against you because they'll get uh, really, really bad stuff. There is a Stealth card. That's good. Hmm. And Trogzor the Earthinator is so much fun to use. I want to use that after his field is clear, though, which I think I could do next turn. Pending, of course. You take long turns, good sir. Though I am giving him a lot to deal with, so I'm not going to complain. It's when the choice is obvious that people take long turns, I tend to kind of be a little upset about that. Okay. Going to keep cloaking field, okay? Good move, good move. Keep her alive, she is important. But what I'm going to do now, he's not going to very much like. We're going to go ahead and swipe that guy. Trevor. Slam that guy. Hit you for four. And then I think I'm just... Hmm, I don't really have any good choices here. I could cloak and field this guy so he stays alive. I think I may do that. Or I can... No, actually, I'm going to cloak Trogzor next time I play him. We'll go ahead and save that for Trogzor. There we go. We're good. He's got nine cards in hand. He's actually down to seven cards in his deck, which is pretty nice. We also do run one Tree of Life in this deck. So even if he does start being able to get me in a position to weaken me, I have a full heal. <laughs> And he will be taking more cards than I will, so. I wonder. I've insured that. Holy Nova, there's the board wipe. You killed your own guy, though, so. A natural mistake. Yeah, I don't think he was planning on killing his own guy. At least it doesn't seem that way. So I think next turn is going to be Trogzor. Oh, maybe not. That is actually going to ruin that play. That is going to ruin that play indeed. Hmm. So I think we're going to draw some cards. Ooh, there's a Death Lord. Death Lords are a lot of fun. They're great tanks. They pull a minion out of your opponent's deck. And a lot of time they hurt. So it can kill a battle cry. It can ruin certain things. So that's why I love Death Lords. They're also really good tanks. For three mana, two eight, I'll take it. What you doing, bud? You have to get past the taunt before you can do anything, and that taunt isn't going anywhere unless you swing with both your creatures or you use a Shadow Word Death. Or a Shadow Word Paint. I think he's got one more of those, so let's see what he does. Four cards left in your deck, good sir. I have ten. I will outlast you. I am a druid. <laughs> I have another Clockwork Giant somewhere in my deck, too. There he goes, just like I thought. Slamming both his guys into there. Pulling out a Yeti. It's fine deal with it. It's just a Yeti. Yetis aren't that big of a pain. Shadow Madness. Alright. So, you're gonna slam that. Do you have a follow-up to that? Doesn't look like it. Well, maybe it does. Ah, Shadow Corsa. How nice. How nice indeed. Okay, ooh, got another one of these. That's good. 
Um, I think what we're going to do now... Hmm, I'm going to think about this a little bit. I want to play this, so I have another taunt. I can play this too, but then I can't play the cloaking field. I want to cloak this guy, so I get lots and lots of cards. So, hmm, removal-wise, I can only kill one of his guys. Could attack there. I think I'm going to do that. No, but I need the Death Lord out, because I need the tank. Um, I can't play Trogzor unless I play the cloaking field, though. So if I play Death Lord... 7, 8, then attack. I could actually do this to kill that guy. Death Lord out. That. And then if I want to get a kill with a swipe, I think the best option for me is going to be to hit this guy because I can ensure a kill on it. And then I can just use my power to kill off this guy. So, like that. Pretty much allowing me to have another turn without him hitting me in the face, which is what I was going for. So, which is fine. He can heal up his guys if he wants. I wasn't trying to get the extra one damage on them. It wasn't that important to me. He's got a lot of cards to work with. I'll give him that. But hmm, hmm, indeed. What do you have? Embrace the void. The soul priest. All right. Heal on there. Attack him with a six. Hit me in the face for four. Sounds like a plan. Pulling out of his deck. Nothing. He's got no creatures left in his deck. That is sad. That is very sad. The damned stand ready. All right. So he's got a field full of creatures. So this is kind of scary, but I think we'll be okay. Cloaking field. Nice. There's Tree of Life, so we can stall with that really well. Let's go ahead and uh, play Trogzor. Hit with that. Grab this. Now, this whole play right now is kind of hinging on the fact that he doesn't play any spells. But, I know for a fact, all he's got left in his deck are spells. So, we're hoping here. We're really hoping. We got Tree of Life if we need to do a reset, but he's got a lot of power on the field right now. A lot of power. I do have eight cards left in my deck, though. I really need to draw that Clockwork Giant. I think he's got another Shadow Word Death, though. I, I might have miscounted, but we'll see. I also have Vol'jin in this deck, too, which it would have been nice to have him a little earlier. I could steal some health from somebody. It would have been nice to steal it from the Temple Enforcer. The damned stand ready. Another one, okay. I could actually steal health from one of those guys. That would be pretty good. Well, he's not going to play any spells. Because that would just be foolish, wouldn't it? So I think we're going to have to treat life next turn. I, we, there's really no no way around it, is there? I think we're going to go ahead and... Kill off... Kill off the Soul Priest, right? Soul Priest is the really annoying one. And then we're going to go ahead and heal up everyone. Still alive. You can now kill Trogzor if you want, but you're out of cards. So... Whatever you're gonna do, do it quick. My thanks to you. There's the Shadow of Death. I knew he had one. Gave me a Trog though, so I'm okay with that. He's probably gonna kill off the Trog with his Enforcer. Yeah, with the Enforcer. I do have another Trog in my hand, but that's not really gonna help me that much. He is out of cards, but I do have to burn down his full life again, which is a bit difficult. But I have been able to do it before with this deck. What's he got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Ah, oh, that's gonna make it really difficult. I don't run poison seeds in this deck though, which is kind of uh, a bit of a disappointment at this point. Now that I'm looking at this field, oh, he could have healed me. That would have been nicer. No. Uh, <laughs> Goblin Sapper, you do not help me, and I think this game is unfortunately gonna be a loss. Uh, the games don't typically go this way with this deck. Uh, typically, the uh, how it perspires... Actually, I might be able to... No, I'm dead. He's illegal. Uh, typically how it goes is I'm just able to outlast them. Unfortunately, he was able to allow me to burn my naturalizers pretty early, and it would have been nice to have them a little early. I could take it out the Temple Enforcer or the Yeti, but unfortunately it did not come to that this time. But still, you get the idea of what the deck does and, and how it kind of makes people not want to play spells, how it can mill the deck out a little bit. This isn't a good showing of it. I'll try to get another video of that sooner, but I did want to put this video out there so you guys can try out the deck and see how it works. 
Um, I am going to go ahead and go through and show you guys what's in the deck real quick. So I call it my mill deck, even though it doesn't necessarily mill. It's just meant to mill, uh, to, to draw lots of cards. Two naturalizes, two explosive sheeps. That would be nice to draw my other one. I never drew that one. Uh, the trogs, I have pretty much all of the trogs. Two of each, except for the legendary. The only allowed one of him. Uh, we got Youthful Brewmaster, because Bounce and or Cold Light Oracle is amazing. Dancing Swords, great card draw for the opponent. Uh, Death Lord gives a creature the opponent. Uh, also sucks a, pulls a creature out of your opponent's deck. These are great when you want to be filling up their ha their hand, which is what this deck does. Grove Tenders, also really good new cards. I love these. Uh, swipes for the removal. The Rock Jaws. Keepers of the Grove, those are great in any Druid deck. Uh, Yetis. Yetis are nice because they add a card to both players' hands. They give me something useful and give them a card also. Now, their card can help them like that. Those cloaking fields did help the opponent, but it does increase their card count, allowing for Clockwork Giants to be played on the field. Um, and then we got the Malorn. I didn't draw my Malorn, unfortunately. A Malorn is a great card because every time he dies, he comes back, meaning that while you're making everyone draw cards, you cannot be mill milled as long as Malorn keeps dying and coming back. So you're safe from being milled. Uh, and then Trogzor, one tree of life, because that allows you to postpone the game long enough to get the kill. Uh, it didn't work this time, but try out this deck, guys. Let me know what you think. Uh, I have had a lot of success with it. Not, uh, today, obviously, but, uh, definitely, it is a lot of fun. I urge you guys to try it out. Let me know in the comments below how it works for you, or if you have any ideas of what I could switch around to make it a little better, maybe. Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe if you like the content. More great videos daily, and have a wonderful rest of your weekend.